What's happening, folks, and welcome to an FM, I want to say a plans announcement. Yeah, but yeah, it is actually an FM pl plans announcement based on FM20 and FM21. So I'm going to confirm some plans here and give you a little taster of what I'm thinking of FM20, FM21. So we'll get to the other title, the other title as well um, in, a, in a second. So first of all, guys, before going any further, thank you so much for the support on Foot Manager this year. It's been the best year of recording for me. I think it's... I'm not saying I'm making great content, but I feel like it's the best content I've made to the consistency and uploading. And I've got some really exciting things planned for the episodes coming up in the next few weeks on uh, on Glory and Paradise. I hope you enjoy those episodes. So, um, right, let's go through what we're planning. So, as you know, they announced on yesterday, for my answer, that the new journey starts on November, November 24th. So, very flashy and impressive trailer. But it was a 30 second trailer, still great. So we now have a date for the new football manager, which is great for me as a content creator because now I can plan my roadmap to get to that game. So we're going to go through what the plans are for the rest of FM20. And then we'll touch on the, the little gap between the two games. And then we'll talk about FM21 and all that kind of in case you catch my hands. There they are. So FM20, what is the plan? Glory in Paradise, Monaco. That will continue until the end of FM20. I have not done my main aim yet, as of recording this, of winning the Champions League. So I want to win that. If I can. No guarantee, but I'm going to try my best. Um, and also some new kind of styles and inputs and that kind of thing I'm putting into the videos to test things out. I'm kind of using the FM, the, the, that, that series now as a way of experimenting with a few things and seeing how I feel about it. And I, I did I did an episode I did can't talk. I did an episode yesterday that took me an hour to edit. And that it felt good to be to putting that much time into the episode. It also took me an hour because the, the software I'm using now is a bit glitchy, but it's fine. Um so that's I hope, I hope you enjoy it. It's not gonna go live for a couple of days, but it's, I think it's really good. Um, and if it didn't work out, feedback is welcome. And it helps me mould the style for the new foot manager. Foot manager FN, oh my god, FM21 when that comes out. So, Glory in Paradise is continuing until the end of the cycle. Daily uploads on that. Side, on, on that. Start of tomorrow. Right. This is a series that I love to record. It's so much fun. But we're getting to the point now where we've done 119 episodes. Not uploaded yet, but they've been simulated and are being recorded. So, what I'm saying to you now, guys, is if you've got a player you want me to do, as in brand new, or a redo, in this video, in this video, leave a comment with that player. You've got until 6pm tomorrow to get your final requests in, because once that's done, all the requests that are there, they'll be the final videos that I do on the series. Because we've done so many players now that we're getting to the point now where there's not many players left to do, I don't think. And I want to phase it out a little bit um, for the new year. But I'm going to give you the, the, the new game. So I'll give you one last chance to get your players. You can ask for redos on your players as well, but only the early ones. Like the first 20, 30 players. Because obviously the database has been pretty, you know. But, 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 oh, you know what? Any player can be redone. Um, but obviously if it's been recently done already, no. So in it, let's say... If it was done in the last two months, no. Um, before that, sure, I'll do it. But if it's a redo, I'll just do one run through. I'm not going to do three run throughs of the same player again. Um, so that's the requirements. So down below, guys, leave a comment on the player down below, and I will um, obviously get back to you uh, with when it's going to go live and that kind of thing. Um, but after six, after six p.m. tomorrow, I'm going to I'm going to disable all the comments on this video. So that you guys cannot um, keep requesting players, you know, it's just when I'm going to do things. The plans for this series going forward are we're going to stick to the style we're doing with because we've, we've nailed it down. I think now we've got a really good kind of style and pattern we like to do. I'm gonna, I'm, con I'm trying to work out a way where I can set a spreadsheet or a database or some kind of online thing to view that I can update for the request so because the problem we've got with it is when you make a request for a, a player i get a notification in my com on my youtube dashboard that, the, that a comment has been left and i view it i see the comment 
you know, you get a reply from me saying, yep, thank you for the suggestion. I'll, you know, blah, 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 blah. If you then reply to that comment asking when is it going to go live, I don't get a notification of it. I've got to look in the comment section myself and find it. It doesn't tell me you've replied to it, right? That's the problem. Although not always, anyway. I think it might do sometimes, but not all the time. So that's when the delay comes from me replying to about the episode going live. So what I'm going to do is create a system where I can... You get a request, I then reply to your comment, and then I then have a spreadsheet you can review and say, so my request is that episode, okay, it's been recorded. It's going live on that day. Right. Or it's being simmed right now, and it's going to go live on that day. So you can just check your status of your request without having to wait for me to reply because, obviously, I don't always see the comments like I just said. So essentially, it'd be, a, I don't know how to do it. I have to talk to people about how to do it and that kind of thing. Um, but essentially, it'd be a way to just keep track of the episode. So, okay, so, he, oh, he's recorded it. It's going live on that date. Cool. So you know when it's, so you know when it's going live rather than waiting to see what happens. Um, and then hopefully that's something you guys will enjoy as well. So the gap between the two games I mentioned as well at the start of the video. Right. My plans I've always been the same way every year. I usually take a two-week break from recording the game. So let's think about this logically. Assuming it's two weeks, the beta comes out, you know, before the release. That would be so one, two. That would be the tenth of November, ish, when the new beta comes out. I usually take a two-week break before that. It's two weeks. It's two weeks break from recording it, one week break from uploading it. So, third November will be when I stop recording the game, and the tenth November will be when we start recording the new, releasing the new stuff. So around the around the around early November, I'll be stopping the content, recording it, and then I'll release what I've got. Then we'll take a break. It's just a way to reset stop recording the game and just you know get ready for the new one obviously also now as well i'm now working well not yet i finally got overtime at work finally got some overtime it's been months and months with obviously what's been going on so that's going to affect content potentially hopefully not i'll try my best to not let it affect it um but we'll do i'll do my best i best i can it might mean that i do a lot of recording on days on, on days off um and it that's fine. That's not, not a problem for me. Um, but I guess, like I said, guys, I will try and do daily uploads as much as I can. If I'm finding the hours are not really creative to that, mm, I may change that um, st schedule, but I'll see. I think I can work, make it work. Um, if I just record a lot of my days off and record way ahead and that kind of thing, that shouldn't be much of a problem. So I'll do, I'll do my best. Um, right. FM21 plans. Right. The beta save has been decided. It's Barcelona. I have never, ever, ever done a Barcelona save on Football Manager. So, FN20, Barcelona, fixing Barcelona. Odds are, I'm getting sacked. <laughs> the beta save in Madrid didn't go well this year. It was, again, the, again it's, it's a beta save. So, I, I kind of say, well, you know, it's one of those things. So, that would be the beta save. In terms of the main save on um, FN21... That will start when the full game comes out. However, I will say this. If I'm mid-season on the beta save with Barcelona, I will finish whatever season I am in. And then we'll start the new game. So essentially, it gives me a bit of time to get it recorded, get it going, and that kind of thing. The idea is I'm going to be managing in England because I feel like that's something I've I, I, I not done a long-term England save for a while. The main saves this year were Ajax and Monaco. So, I want to manage in England. We really Wolves were got sacked. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, the idea is, that there's nothing set in stone yet on the, on a series around in, in England, but the two early contenders are Southampton and Everton. The idea being, I can build a team up in the Premier League, and try and make them a big European giant. That is the plan. Now, I would love 
to do it all year. Um, like, as long as I can save it lasts all year, that'd be cool. I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm going to see how it goes. Um, as of, I, I, also, I can confirm that FM21 Stars of Tomorrow will be returning. So you will not be, you'll have a bit of a gap between the series, but it will be on FM21. It's my favourite series to record. I love doing it. You guys seem to really enjoy it. It ain't going anywhere. So yeah, just to summarise basically the points there. Stars of Tomorrow is going to be a 6pm deadline tomorrow for new requests. After that, there's no more requests being permitted. Um, Glory in Paradise with Monaco will continue to the end of the FM20, 20, FM20 cycle. Um, and, and around early November, we'll stop recording and uploading a bit and just take a break. Um, I'll try and make sure there's content loaded for you guys um, for... Um, the rest of that month. It might, be, might not be possible, but I'll do my best. And then um, we are going to be recording the beta save on FM21 with Barcelona. And the early ideas for the main save are Everton and Southampton. Those are two ideas, two ideas I've had. I may go abroad after that if we don't do it all year. I'll have to wait and see. Um, and yeah, that is the current state of affairs. I just want, wanted to touch base with you. Um, like I said, get your requests in now for Stars of Tomorrow. You go to 6 p.m. Readers are allowed. Like I said, hopefully, you guys uh, are enjoying the content, and I hope you guys check out the Glory in Paradise series as well. I will see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm live, on, I'm live on Twitch tonight as well at 6 p.m. with a new save. Um, not quite nailed down who it's going to be yet, but I'm pretty sure it's Real Madrid. Just because I'm doing, a, I want to do a long save, long term save, long term save with them and chill out with you guys. So yeah, thank you for watching, folks. Don't forget to drop a like on the video down below and trying to stop my stuttering i will say guys a lot of people have been saying in the comment section about um my speech i cannot help it there's been times in this video where i've struggled to talk i cannot you know i hope you guys understand it's not something that i can control um which is why sometimes i lower the speed on the uh, commentary because i just need to just force myself to slow down Right there, you see, I was I knew what was gonna happen there. I was about to, you know, have a little problem. Ooh, right, right there. So yeah, I can't affect, I can't help it. Um, it affects me in my job. So if I can't sort it in my job, then I've got no hope for YouTube ever. Um, but I'm doing I do my best. Right there again, you see, I'm doing my best to try and um, sort it out. I will try and make a case. Of, a case. I will try and make myself talk slower on videos. However. In the heat of the moment, when it, excitement rises, not all, not always possible. So yeah, guys. So just, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the content. I really hope you uh, stick around for FM FM twenty one, and I hope you guys enjoy the content we're going to bring you. And I hope you guys are well. Like I said, six pm tomorrow deadline for starts or tomorrow requests. After that, we're done. But I'll record obviously what I've got record what what I've got um, requested already. And I'm planning to get a um, spreadsheet made where I can update on what episodes and that kind of thing. So, thank you for watching, folks. See you next time. See you down on Twitch, 6pm. You can talk about the content on there with me as well, about the plans, that kind of thing. But, but until next time, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.